welcome to WWE Ring of Honor Honorable Combat and we have seven great matches, five title matches including this one for the Ring of Honor Pure Championship between Roderick Strong and Wheeler Utah. These two both members of Ring of Honor and especially Wheeler Utah who is currently with AEW and a member of the Blackpool Combat Club. And we also have two special exhibition matches for you and I guarantee it is going to be a fantastic night and what a way to kick off with the Ring of Honor Pure Championship between these two men who are very, very aware of what they need to bring to Ring of Honor and this match. At the moment, Wheeler Yuta is, is definitely bringing it to the leader of the Diamond Mind, former member of the Undisputed Era, Roderick Strong. And there's a huge Alabama slam there by Strong on Yuta, taking him down. Roderick Strong, of course, was very prominent in the mid in the mid 2010s of Ring of Honor, winning the championship. On, winning multiple championships on multiple occasions, making his name on the independent scene through Ring of Honor. And tonight we have got for you a great lineup of matches featuring current and old members of the Ring of Honor roster. It is going to be a hybrid. Yes, this is a crossover event between WWE and Ring of Honor, but at the same time, they are going to bring excellent wrestling and the best in sports and entertainment and there you can see Willie Utah just currently stomping away at Roderick Strong the leader of Diamond Mind great technical move there is he looking to make Strong tap out Strong at the moment holding Strong and he manages to roll himself out of it now stomping away at the back of Willie Utah great backbreaker there by Roderick Strong Roderick Strong has been extremely successful in NXT, winning the Cruiserweight Championship, the North American Championship, as well as part of the Freebird rule for the Undisputed Era. Excuse me, I'm just so excited. Hit my announce table and also the Tag Team Championship along with Carl O'Reilly and Bobby Fish as part of the Undisputed Era. But at the moment, to win the Ring of Honor Pure Championship, Roderick Strong is really, really struggling along, trying to get the, trying to get into the match. But Wheeler Utah at the moment, he is in control. But Roderick Strong, he's doing what he can. And it's a great double underhook suplex there. This is the kind of wrestling that we need to see more in WWE. Plus, Ring of Honor and a great knee to the face. That could have Utah out. And there's one, there's two. Roderick Strong getting the two counts on Wheeler Utah. All the championships. All the championship matches tonight, might I add, are for vacant championships. No champion walked into this match. We are crowning a pure champion right here, right now. And the same will go with the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships. With the War Raiders taking on the Dudley Boys. Now we know the Dudley Boys were never part of Ring of Honor, but the Dudley Boys want to go after the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships. It is the one championship that they have not won yet. And might I add, they want it. They want it bad. We also have the Ring of Honor Women's Championship on the line between Mercedes Martinez, Diona Parazzo, and Mickey James. We also have the Ring of Honor World Television Championship in a submission match. Sami Zayn is taking on the submission, the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe. Our two special exhibition matches we have tonight is AJ Styles versus Tommaso Ciampa. And that is going to be an incredibly, incredible match. I don't know why I said incredibly incredible. It, it just seemed, needed to be extra stated, shall we say. And our other special exhibition match is going to be from two of the greatest standout performers in Ring of Honor history. CM Punk versus Brian Danielson. Yes, it is going to be one hell of an exhibition match. And then finally, our main event, a four corners elimination match between Seth freaking Rollins, Kevin Owens, Claudio Castagnoli and Jonathan 
Gresham. Yes, they are going after the Ring of Honor World Championship. And at the moment, I really should be keeping an eye on what's going on in the ring at the moment. And at the moment, Roderick Strong is currently down. He is not being able to get much offense in. At the moment, it's been mostly Utah, and it seems to be getting a bit squeaky bum time between all of them. Not all of them, just a pair of them. Uh, the referee, excuse me, I'm just so excited now, just tripping over words. But at the moment, the referee continues to utilize his count. He's up to three after Utah just threw strong into the ring steps. Utah are now going outside, breaking the referee's count. Roderick Strong looked like he was out for the count, but you don't want to win this match by count out. You want to win by pinning your opponent. You want to win in that way. Strong is getting back in the ring. Utah, he is, is he going to follow suit? Yes, he is. Strong and Utah, big, big right hands there. Strong has got Utah up and big flapjack there. Strong is currently taking advantage of you, but a kick to the face already puts an end to that. And I think at the moment, the odds are not looking good for Utah, who's just eaten a DDT. Yes, he has. And now Roderick Strong, what is he looking to do? He's got Utah up. Utah is elbowing him in the face, and that puts the end of that assault. But now Strong, he's got... Is he going to take full advantage of this? And a big fall away slam. Taking down Wheeler Yuta. Wheeler Yuta must be stunned from all of this. And now just knee to the back. Wrenching that neck. Look, trying to make Yuta tap out. But the thing is. It's like we are not going to see a great technician. In Wheeler Yuta tap out that easily. And now he's taking it to Roddy Strong. Roddy Strong looking to get a bit of offense back in. Now he's just chopping away. Kick to the gut. Can you to take advantage of this? Yes, he is. He's going in with some powerful strikes on Strong. This could be the opening that he's looking for. He's whipped Strong into the corner. What's he looking to do? He's looking to wrench that arm, possibly tear some ligaments, some tendons, do some damage to Roddy Strong. Now Wheeler Yuta has climbed up to the top rope and nice little acrobatic move there. Wheeler Yuta, he's... He's looking to set up. What's he going for? Boot to the head and well knee to the face. And then a neck breaker. It, oh my. Is Roddy going to tap out to this? He's got it wrenched. It's fully in. And Roderick Strong has tapped out. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. And the new Ring of Honor Pure Champion, Wheeler. Utah. What a match to kick this event off and it is only going to get better from here as we move on to our next match of the night. Wrestling's past meets wrestling's future for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships. The War Raiders Eric and Ivar going up against Devon, Bubba Ray, the Dudley Boys. As I said before, the Dudley Boys have never captured the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships. It is the only tag team goal that they have not captured yet. They have won 23 Tag Team Championships, including ECW World Tag Team Championships. Eight times the IWGP Tag Team Championships on two occasions. They have won the NWA World Tag Team Championship once. The TNA World Tag Team Championships twice. They have won the WWE Tag Team Championships once. The World Tag Team Championships in WWE eight times. And they have also won the WCW World Tag Team Championships once. Can they add the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships? And to do that, they've got to go and beat Eric and Ivar of the War Raiders to capture the belt. War Raiders themselves are former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions themselves. And they want to get back on top of the Tag Team Mountain. And that was an excellent German suplex there by Eric on Devon Dudley. 
Devon hasn't really been able to get much going. And I did notice earlier, Devon shaking things up with his offense by doing a springboard moonsault off the middle rope. Now, I don't remember in any occasion, no matter what promotion he has ever been in, for Devon Dudley to utilize such a move. But now Devon's looking to tag in his half-brother, Bubba Ray. This is going to be a huge power fest by all. First of all, all four of these men, but I'm sure between Eric and Bubba Ray. But at the moment, Eric is taking full advantage of this. And here comes Ivar. Ivar is going to take no prisoners, especially with someone who is as brutal, as heavy, as stiff as Bubba Ray Dudley. Now, Bubba Ray, he really needs to get into this match. And a huge clothesline on Ivar taking him right off his feet and stamping away at those arms as well and here comes Devon I'm not sure if that's a wise move but it's been done anyway now Devon getting some assaults in at the moment he's getting a few stomps now he's kicking away at those big powerful legs of Ivan and gone in for a pin and it's only a one count sorry Devon I don't think you were ever going to get a three count from that just raking the face raking the eyes Devon Dudley looking to torture Ivar, but Ivar manages to squeeze out, and now a big headbutt. Ivar stomping away on Devon Dudley. It is great to see the Dudley boys compete in this kind of match once again for Tag Team Gold. They are looking to become 24 times Tag Team Champions, the most decorated Tag team in history. Now Devon Dudley is just slowly taking Ivar apart, just going away whilst Bubba Ray looks on approvingly at his half brother doing all of the damage to Ivar. Now Ivar being thrown face first into those steel posts and they are not going to be very forgiving. Let me tell you that boys and girls. Ivar, there's a tag there. Ivar managed to get away from Devon Dudley to get the tag into Eric. And now Devon with a huge clothesline of his own on Eric, taking him down. Bubba Ray is now tagged in. Will Bubba Ray be unforgiving to Eric? He's got him hoisted up and now just thrown him outside of the ring. This is kind of the ruthless nature that we have seen from the Dudley boys in any promotion that they have been in, whether it is TNA, whether it's ECW, WWE, these men are just unforgiving and will do anything and everything they can, no matter what, to win Tag Team Gold. They have competed in some of the greatest matches in history. For example, the first ever TLC match, the second ever TLC match, and not to mention TLC3 as well. Bubba Ray Dudley, who is also quite distinguished with his own solo career as a former TNA World's Heavyweight Champion. And Devon also won the Television Championship. I've, Eric, sorry, Eric at the moment, I'm just so excited. Hit a big move on Bubba Ray there. Ivar is back in the ring and these two big boys are going to go at it once again and huge fists and slamming his face on the mat and I think I saw a bit of blood come out of Bubba Ray's nose after that assault after having his face just chucked straight into the mat and it's a power bomb and it's a pin and it's a two count Viking yes Bubba Ray Dudley has been busted open across the bridge of his nose his nose could have been broken after having his face slammed into the mat. Ivar is on the top rope and here comes Devon and a huge senton which does not connect Bubba Ray. Now it must have been a miscalculation or it might have been Devon putting him off so much by going in for an attack. Ivar's got Bubba Ray and he's all oh, Bubba Ray's getting out of it. Bubba Ray's in the wrong part of town. He may need have to get a tag in at some point to Devon but Bubba Ray he's got Ivar up and a big punch to the face as well. 
Bubba Ray is moving away and he's tagged in. Devon has a smart move. When you've got a broken nose, you may have to get out of the ring. Does he want to seek medical attention? No, of course not. Bubba Ray is a warrior. Devon Dudley at the moment with a big knee to the face. And once again hitting the springboard moonsault, which does not connect as Ivar got out of the way. And now Eric is back in the ring. Both teams being very smart here with tagging in and out, in and out, keeping each other fresh or as fresh as they can. But now Devon's looking to tag in his half brother Bubba Ray. Bubba Ray, like I said, might have a broken nose after having his face slammed into the mat by Ivar. At the moment, Eric is taking full advantage of this and he's got Bubba Ray having a big spine buster there. And that could do some serious damage. Oh, and what a kick there by Bubba Ray. Bubba Ray is dragging Eric into the center of the ring and he's going for, is he going for a cover? Yes, he's got him pinned. Here we go. There's just a one count and Ivar smacks Bubba Ray on the head just after the pin. Devon reverses Eric and now Ivar is out of the ring and we are back down to the two legal men. It is Bubba Ray and Eric. Bubba Ray is dragging Eric and just slamming him face first into the top rope. And now knees to the gut, knees to the chest. That is going to do some serious damage. And now just raking his boot across the face. And a big, big one across the face of Eric. Eric at the moment is not being able to get much offense in. Bubba Ray Dudley needs to get out of the ring. But wow, what a moonsault there. Devon Dudley has definitely got himself into shape to be able to pull off some of these moves like a moonsault off the top rope and now a Luthez press and just smacking away at Eric in the face. Devon Dudley going for a cover and it was a one count after the interference from, from Eric. Once again I'm just so excited and just several boosts to the face. What is Devon looking to do? He's get he's He's got something cinched in. He's just looking to torture him and knees to the back. Devon Dudley really has upped his game, especially for this big match and a huge knee to the face. This could be it. We could be looking at new Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions in the War Raiders as they continue, continue to do serious damage to Devon Dudley, especially in that big knee to the face. Here we go, now Eric, he's got himself into position. Is he looking to make Devon tap? No, Devon's looking to get out of it. Well done to Devon, you have, using his wearable to be able to get out of it. And Bubba Ray at the moment, he is just torturing Ivar on the outside. Just twisting, manipulating those tendons and the hands and everything. Just doing serious damage. Devon Dudley, he looks primed and ready though in the ring. With Eric, what is he going to do? Here we go. He's got him hoisted up. Dropping him on his head. Eric is stunned. Are we going to see 24 times? One, two. The Dudley boys have captured the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships for the first time, bringing their tally to 24. 24 times World Tag Team Champions, the Dudley Boys. I cannot believe my eyes. What a victory for the Dudley Boys. It is time for our first of two special exhibition matches. AJ Styles versus Tommaso Ciampa. Both of these men returning to old stomping grounds for the first time in years. AJ Styles, a former Ring of Honor pure champion and tag team champion with Amazing Red as well. Going up against Tommaso Ciampa who is a former Ring of Honor World TV champion now we both know that both of these men we all know should i say that both of these men are capable of incredible wrestling and we know that 
here in Ring of Honor at Honorable Combat. And what a move here by Tommaso Ciampa with that neck breaker. Just what athleticism to be able to pull that off. But as I was saying, we both know, not both know, we all know what these men are capable of. And especially when it comes to wrestling in Ring of Honor, these men are not going to hold anything back. At the moment, Tommaso Ciampa is really taking it to the phenomenal one. Just kicking away at his back and hitting stomps and plenty of them. Styles hasn't been able to get going. And Ciampa, the Blackheart, is just going ahead and really, really taking it to AJ Styles. And a big elbow drop off the top. And that could be it already. I mean, the flurry of offense. And here's the count. One, two. This could be it. No. Two count, Tommaso Ciampa thought he could have had it done after that flurry of offense and a big kick to the head there by AJ Styles could open things up. Now AJ him a big DDT on Tommaso Ciampa. Slap to the chest, strikes. You know that AJ Styles is going to be using a lot of strikes and aerial maneuvers whilst Tommaso Ciampa probably is just going to look to torture the phenomenal one. Here we go, AJ Styles with a big knee to the head and that is going to do some serious damage. Let's just hope that it doesn't do serious damage to Champa's neck. The last thing we need is a serious injury like that again, especially here tonight at Ring of Honor, WWE Honorable Combat. AJ Styles maintaining the offense at the moment because I think from everything that has gone on, Champa must have been a bit stunned. Now slamming Champa's head into the top rope. Elbow to the head as well. Champa needs to get back into it because AJ Styles had a good flurry of offense at the moment. Champa is doing what he can to stay away from any offense by AJ Styles. AJ Styles though, still maintaining it. And here we go. Big move there. Let's not forget the amount of time, the amount of damage that Champa's neck has taken, and we don't want him. And here we go. We got a calf crusher already in. This could be it already. Is Champa going to submit? No. Elbow to the back of the head. But yes, let's not forget all of the damage that Champa's neck has sustained and the amount of time that he had to miss due to his injury. But the man, the Blackheart, has come back stronger than ever in several strikes there by Champa might have done some damage and yes AJ Styles is bleeding above I believe he's right eye AJ Styles going for the phenomenal forearm and he's hit it this could be it already there's a cover one two and our first of two exhibition matches is already over strong offense from both men meaning that it got ended really quickly AJ Styles go, coming back to Ring of Honor, showing the blood that he spilled as well for that company, for this company, is victorious against Tommaso Ciampa. Two of the greatest to have ever stepped inside a Ring of Honor ring is back in Ring of Honor, and that's a lot of rings to say in one sentence. Yes, CM Punk and Brian Danielson, the American Dragon versus the best in the world. This should be absolutely incredible, and now Danielson already getting the advantage and telling Punk to get up, and a big double axe handle taking CM Punk down. CM Punk and Brian Danielson Obviously, both a part of AEW, as I say these words, with Danielson part of Blackpool Combat Club and CM Punk. Well, CM Punk continues to forge his own destiny, but at the moment, Brian Danielson is definitely, definitely taking it to CM Punk. As if he is frustrated, he is annoyed, he is angry at CM Punk for everything that he has said or done over the years. He must harbor some kind of resentment for everything that Punk did back in Ring of Honor. 
or even back in WWE or even in AEW because Danielson really the American Dragon is just absolutely whipping the tar whipping ass against CM Punk CM Punk has not been able to get anything going and they are going for strikes takedowns and the thing is Danielson at the moment now he's just showing off with some wrestling moves and taunting away at CM Punk Danielson showing he's superior wrestling this is just a walk in the park so far for Danielson Punk has barely been able to hit two consecutive moves in a row and now just torturing the arm of CM Punk Punk needs to get back into this and the kick to the head might be the start of it strike we both know that both of these men are extremely proficient in strikes and here we go and it's a big standing suplex oh Punk has reversed it and now big German suplex of his own on Danielson his first bit of solid defense and he's finally hit two three attacks on the trot and a big oh it looked like it was going to be a tornado DDT these two men know each other ever so well especially back in WWE the amount of times these two faced each other and always put on a clinic might I add now Punk's just stomping away at the elbows looking if you take out the arms you might be able to take out the the label lock at which point Danielson cannot make you tap out as far as he is concerned you will tap out or he will snap you out big crossbody that did not connect there by CM Punk CM Punk still trying to utilize strikes and what have you to try and you know keep on top of Danielson as well as being weary of what the American Dragon is capable of doing and now Danielson is just hitting those signature kicks and a big one across the face of CM Punk this could be it there's a cover it's one two and a kick out at two CM Punk is still in this match he has taken a hell of a lot of abuse Danielson is set up is he going to go for a running knee and no Punk has absolutely caught him off his guard and now he's just gone and reversed it CM Punk climbing up to the top row what is he looking to do here we go big elbow drop off the top which did not connect both men jeez louise this could go either way at the moment just technical masters Bryant's looking to lock in that label lock and he's got it cinched in is CM Punk going to tap out he's got it locked Punk's holding on he's holding on he keeps holding on what is he going to do he has managed to get out of it but that might have taken a lot out and here is a cover two and a kick out at two Daniel Bryan sorry Bryan Danielson thought it was going to be free and a kick to the face CM Punk still in this match ring of honor champion world heavyweight champion WWE champion AEW world champion this is why CM Punk has been a champion everywhere he has been besides UFC but that's a completely different story let's not talk about that boys and girls CM Punk he's got Danielson up and now he's attacking those arms once again kick to the gut was he looking to do big northern light suplex there CM Punk's looking to get back into this and he's locked in the anaconda vice is Daniel Bryan going to tap out is he going to tap to the anaconda vice and Danielson has tapped out to the anaconda vice CM Punk has come back to ring of honor and he is walking out victorious after making Brian Danielson tap out to the Anaconda Vice. What a match, a back and forth match that was. CM Punk, your winner in this second exhibition match. What started off as a way to celebrate Ring of Honor, past and future. Invitations were sent out to many, many wrestlers. One of them being 
El Generico. El Generico sadly could not be with us tonight due to things going on back in Mexico, especially at the orphanage that he now works and resides at. So El Generico sadly had to refuse, had to deny the fans the opportunity to be here tonight at WWE Ring of Honor Honorable Combat. Samoa Joe though took absolute umbrage to this and he decided to target anyone that was close to El Generico, especially Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn who did not like this managed to get his revenge on Joe and basically said to him, you want me, you want me, make this a submission match and we will do this for the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. Of course, Joe had to accept that challenge because the Samoan submission machine, this is his match and Samoa Joe wants to end Sami Zayn and then get to El Generico. But Joe has to go through Sami Zayn first and win the Ring of Honor World TV Championship. Joe at the moment who took a bit of abuse at the start of the match is now in full control over Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn being stomped on and he's... Oh, here we go, we got a surfboard. This could be an opportunity for Joe to make... Sammy tap out, but Sammy manages to get out of it. Looked like he was going for a pin. Sammy, sir, this pinfalls do not apply in this match. You need to make him tap out. And the good DDT there, kick to the back to Samoa Joe as well. And now a nice camel clutch, but Joe's ring awareness was good. And he managed to get his hands to the rope. Not once, but twice. Sammy, what are you doing, mate? You need to make him tap out, get more into the center of the ring and don't go for a pinfall attempt. Sammy now climbing up to the top rope. He's looking to get the fans behind him that little bit more against Moa Joe and a big springboard off the top rope, hitting a cross body. Now just punching away at on Joe, doing this for El Generico. Sammy Zayn is doing all of this for his close friend, his second best friend in the whole wide world, El Generico. Joe though is back in advantage and that big Samoan head is being used and now just stomping away. We know Joe is fully capable of torturing you and if he gets that Coquina clutch locked in, then that will be the end for you. It will be night night. Sami Zayn once again not being aware of where he is in the ring as Joe managed to get a rope break there. And now Joe continuing to torture the arms of Sami. Joe looking for that surfboard move once again and he's got it locked in. Now the back of Sami is being tortured. How long will Sami be able to hold on? But he manages to get himself out of it and once again went for another pin. Sami, I don't think you understand the rules of this match. You asked for a submission match, so make him submit. This is not a pin. This is not a pinfall situation. Joe looking for like strong moves and a great insiguri there on Sami Zayn. Joe looking to go ahead and continue. Oh, just continue to torture Sami. Will Sami be able to defend the honor of El Generico? And now, oh, reversal kick to the gut. And now Sammy's looking to throw Joe back in the ring. Here we go. Right, Sammy. Do the right thing. Make him tap out in the middle of the ring. Sammy Zayn climbing up to the top rope here. Here we go. And a big swanton bomb connecting. That is the second of the match because we saw one right at the beginning as Sammy went straight in for the kill. And now he's just punching and slapping away. This is for El Generico. This is for El Generico. Big spin out power bomb there by Sami Zayn. What's he looking to do though? He's got Joe up. Plenty of strikes being utilized. Backbreaker into a nice neck breaker, doing some more damage. Will Sami Zayn be able to do this for El Generico? Get the victory, get the one, two, three for his second best friend in the whole wide world, El Generico. But Joe puts an end to that and a big kick to the back. Now several strikes, slaps and a big, Big chop to the 
face of Sami Zayn. Joe, he's primed, he's locked and ready. Is he going to make him tap out? Is he going to go for the Coquina? No, he's turned him around. He's got him. No, Generico's... Not Generico, sorry. <laughs> I've been saying his name so much that I've got confused. Sami Zayn with a reverse DDT. Sami. Oh, there it is. And now he's got him locked in. He's got him locked into a camel clutch. Is Joe going to submit? No, he got his hands to the rope. This could be devastating for Sammy. Generico, I'm sure, is watching live right now and is going, go Sammy, go Sammy. Here we go, Joe's got Sammy up. Big muscle buster. Joe's looking to finish this off. He's got a grip on. Surely that won't make Sammy tap out. I mean, we've seen worse moves make people tap out. Sammy's holding on at the moment. He hasn't submitted just yet. And he's managed to get out of it. He sweeped the leg. Sammy Zane. Big German suplex. Getting that big man over him. Must have been a challenge, but he's done it. Sammy Zane climbing up to the top rope. What is he looking for here? Big double axe handle smash. Sammy Zane. He is in. He must be in free flow. He's just going for it. And a bit nice little dragon sleeper. Are we going to see Samoa Joe tap out? Here we go. Here we go. He's got it locked in. This could be it. This could be it. Is he going to tap out? Tap Joe. Tap. No. Sami Zayn did not get enough on it to make Samoa Joe tap out. Big. No. Joe manages to get out the suplex and a big German suplex of his own. Joe at the moment, he is looking to put a bit more hurt and pain on Sammy with a big elbow drop off the top rope. And now torturing the arms that little bit more. We've seen Sammy hit the halluva kick. We've seen the muscle buster. We've seen several attempts at submission. But as we've said, this is a submission match. And here we go. Joe's got an STF locked in. Is Sammy going to tap out? Is he going to tap? He's got it wrenched in. He's... A, no. And Sammy Zayn has survived it again. But Joe's going in for a bit more torture and pain. And he's got that surfboard locked in. Joe is just wrenching it. He is now putting more pressure on the back. Is Sammy going to tap out? He is holding on. He's holding on. And no... No, Sammy has held on that little bit more. Big, big move there. What is Sammy looking to do? It's just it. Just dropping himself whilst Joe was plopped on the middle rope. Sammy Zane whipping Joe into the other corner. What's he planning to do? Big elbow. This could be... A very, very tight finish. What's Joe planning to do? Oh my. Look at the strength of Joe. A big power bomb on Sammy. Big power bomb. That's going to take a lot out. Joe whipping Sammy into the corner. What is he planning to do? Oh, and Sammy Zane, he is alive. He is alive. Explode a suplex. Sami Zayn, what is he looking to do? Is he go How is he going to finish Joe off if he can? How can you put down? Oh, and he went for the halluva kick and it was missed. Both of these men, geez, us. What are these men going to have to do to beat the other one? Kick to the gut. They are literally going to war. Sami Zayn, he's got that camel clutch locked in, but... Joe's feet was on the ropes and he's gone for it again and once again Joe's feet was on the ropes Sammy moving more into the center of the ring so he can't touch the ropes mate you can do this for El Generico big clothesline there by Sammy Sammy what is he looking to do he's got to be able to get a bit more into this and a big spin out power bomb this could be it this could be the moment that he's looking for. Stomping away at the arms. Joe must be stunned after that spin out power bomb. What is he planning to do? Hurricane Rana there. 
Sammy, what are you planning to do, mate? What are you planning to do? He's got that dragon sleeper. Now, dragon old locked in. Joe, he's wrenching it. He's wrenching it. Joe has tapped out. Samoa Joe has tapped out to Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn has done the honors for El Generico, his second best friend in the whole wide world, and also winning the Ring of Honor World Television Championship in the process. Ladies and gentlemen, Sami Zayn did it for El Generico. Ring of Honor have been putting women's wrestling on the map for years now. And this is going to be no different when the Ring of Honor Women's Championship, the Women of Honor, is on the line. Diana Perazzo, Mercedes Martinez, and Mickey James all going for that coveted championship. This is going to be one hell of a match. This is a three-way match dance one pin for one victory and you will be crowned a new ring of honor women's champion at the moment diana parazzo is really going for it now mercedes martinez with a good back suplex there on diana and now big knee to the face that was you got you can you can't you know to me, you just can't go ahead and make any bets right now. I mean, like I would suggest on who I feel or who I would want to win. But at this moment in time, I just don't know. Mickey James has got all of the experience in the world. She has been in the industry for two decades. Whilst Mercedes Martinez continues to blaze a trail, as does Diana Parazzo. Experience versus youth experience versus tenacity this is going to be a hell of a match and at the moment mickey james she really needs to get back into this but the honor is going after mercedes now turning her attention to mickey james the honor is going to be using strong power attacks it would seem on mickey james and now just torturing the arm of mickey plenty of women's wrestling has occurred in Ring of Honor and has been blazing a trail, as I said, for many, many years now. Of course, you can look to other promotions that have been putting a lot of emphasis on women's wrestling. For example, like TNA and Impact Wrestling. WWE have been doing it over the years themselves, but of course, we have to just give all of the props and kudos to Ring of Honor for making women's wrestling relevant on the independent circuit many women have gone through ring of honor to then go on to bigger and better things but these women may want to do ring of honor proud now and at the moment mickey james is getting plenty of attacking and now turning her attention to diana and dropping her on the back of her head and now diana is just Rolling outside of the ring, probably taking a breather. Mickey James is up to the top rope and a big elbow drop on Mercedes Martinez. Got a first pinball attempt, and there's two, and that is a kick out. It's a big elbow drop, forcing a two count. That's going to take a lot of Mercedes Martinez. The honor is slowly getting herself up on the outside, and she slides back into the ring. Mickey James going straight after her. Nice snap there, bouncing off the ropes and the... Ooh, went for a kick to the face, but Diana was very much aware. To it. Ooh, looked like Diana was going for a Tornado DDT, but Mickey James's experience got the better of that. And now Mickey James just pounding away on Diana there. Mercedes Martinez is up and now going in with some big strikes to Mickey, taking her off her feet. She is now rolling outside of the ring and we are now down to Mercedes Martinez and Diana Parazzo. Mercedes getting plenty of attacking, slapping, chopping that chest of Diana Parazzo. Big chop across the chest again, and Mercedes is maintaining a lot of the assault here, a lot of the offense, which is probably going to be a good thing for her. And the big drop kick to the back of the head. Mickey James is back in the ring. She's gone straight after Mercedes and just slamming her, like slamming the back of her head to the mat, and now picking her up in the kick. 
just several kicks there. Utilised by Mickey James. Mickey going back in. And another snap mid. Bouncing off the ropes. And another kick to the face of Deonna Parazzo. Slamming that arm. Drop kick to the back as well. Mickey James. She is on fire. She is looking to capture the Ring of Honor Women's Championship here. And a big splash off the top rope. That will do some serious damage. Not just to Deanna, but to Mickey as well. Went for a mick kick, but it completely missed. Deanna was well aware of that. Deanna taunting for the crowd, which was not received well by Mercedes. Mercedes Martinez now just going for it. Big knees by Deanna. What is she planning to do? Wrenching the arm. Looking to get a bit of a submission in. Elbows by Mercedes though. Deanna still maintaining plenty of control here. Mickey James just looking to see which one's going to wear the other one out first. Now Deanna's turned her attention to the legend that is Mickey James. Who can forget her wars with Trish Stratus for the Women's Championship back. Leading into WrestleMania 22. Deonna. Oh. Oh. Deonna with a stiff kick to Mickey there. Mickey James looking to get back into control. And Mercedes Martinez just smacks their heads together. Mickey James maintaining the control. Deonna once again just taunting for the crowd. What's Deonna planning to do? Oh. Went for a power bomb, but it's reversed into a roll up. Here we go, one. And it's a kick out at one. Deonna using her powerful legs there to get out of the situation. Mickey dropping Mercedes' throat first onto the top rope. But Deonna once again, oh, what's she looking to do? Oh, excellent move there by Deonna. Working that arm, but Mercedes Martinez with a smart kick to the back of the head. Mickey James rolling out side of the ring. We got covered. That's one, and it's a kick out at one. Jeez, Mercedes Martinez must have been shocked and rocked by that. Mercedes placing Deonna into the middle ring, but oh, Deonna was incredibly smart there, sensing what was going to happen. Big kick to the gut. Several kicks are being utilised on Mercedes Martinez. She needs to get back into the ring. Several strikes, kicks. Big DDT there. Mickey James is back in the ring. She's looking to get back into the mix of things. Deonna Parazzo, though, she is 100% in control. Or was she? Because Mickey James is now just going for it. But a big punch there by Deonna. Puts an end to the offense. And here we go. We've got a submission attempt. And it's a rope break. But Deonna, she's not had enough. She's Is she looking to go for a pin? Mercedes is just waiting in the wings. And here we go. Two, and it's a breakup at two. This match is going to continue. And a huge uppercut on Mercedes Martinez by Deonna Parazzo. Now Parazzo just torturing the arm of Mickey James. Kick to the head by Mickey. Is she going to be able to get back into this? Barazzo still just punching away. Mickey James reversing a kick with a kick of her own. And here we go. And there's another snap in there. And another kick to the face of Parazzo. Parazzo must. Oh, we got a surprise roll up. And there's one, two. Oh, and kicked out at the last moment. Thanks to interference by Martinez. And a huge boot to the face. Not just to Parazzo, but to James as well. Mercedes Martinez, what's she looking for? Is she going for a surf? Is Mickey James going for a surf? Here we go. Now just bringing her back down and talking. Oh my goodness. This could be the end for Mickey James. And she has tapped out. Mercedes Martinez wins the Ring of Honor Women's Championship. The OG bitch has gone ahead and continued to blaze a trail. And she continues to just whip ass. Mercedes Martinez, your winner.
Let me do a few things I can address. 2014 should have been that year. And now all of a sudden, WWE decision makers are telling me to like, that's right, I don't do that. I deliver every single time I step into this ring. This here is our main event four corners elimination match. Seth Rollins who wrestled in Ring of Honor as Tyler Black. Jonathan Gresham, the last Ring of Honor world champion before Mr. Tony Khan bought the company. Claudio Castagnoli, formerly known as Cesaro in WWE and the reigning defending WWE Universal Champion, Kevin Owens. And we are off and already Seth Rollins is going straight in and he's looking to get rid of Claudio straight away. And we got, ooh, almost had ourselves a two count right off the word go. Looked like for a moment that Gresham and Rollins were going to double team Kevin Owens. Nice electric chair drop there by Seth Rollins on Kevin Owens. And Claudio and Gresham, they're going to go at it. The foundation, though, hitting a good atomic drop there on Claudio, Claudio Castagnoli, who is pound for pound the strongest man in that ring. Lovely head scissors take down there by Gresham and Owens is working his way through Seth Rollins at the moment. Seth freaking Rollins, the Messiah. Mr. Drip Drip himself, king of the drip, should I say. And at the moment, ooh, good belly to belly see, uh, suplex there by Kevin Owens. Owens working away on Seth Rollins, who is now rolling outside of the ring. Good ring awareness there by o by um, Rollins. Sorry, I'm just so excited for this main event. Double, double underhook suplex there by Castagnoli, and it's down to Gresham and Castagnoli. Great athletic ability and, techni and technical work there. Going to have to chop him down so he can't use those big legs and those strong arms. Seth Rollins is back in the ring and already he's uh, just taunting away at the crowd at the moment and I'm not sure if um, the wrestlers inside of the ring, Gresham or Castagnoli are going to basically whip his ass for taunting but a big move there taking down Gresham, Castagnoli big boot to the face of the Universal Champion Kevin Owens looking to be a double champion great German suplex that got one count by Rollins on Gresham Rollins what a 
corkscrew moonsault that was off the second rope and Gresham he needs to get out of the ring and get himself a bit of air at the moment but Kevin Owens is looking to become a double champion the WWE Universal Champion and Ring of Honor World Champion as well as you know Kevin Owens won the Universal Championship defeating Roman Reigns at the 24th anniversary spectacular of WWE Smackdown in a last man standing match. What a match it was. Fall away slam by Owens on Castagnoli. Gresham taunts into the crowd. The foundation looking for some kicks and strikes to be able to take Owens off. Great German suplex by Owens. Rollins working on Castagnoli and going for a knee drop but it did not connect. Castagnoli has got Rollins and he's just thrown him outside of the ring. Getting rid of the dirt. Getting rid of the garbage. Stomping away at the arms by Castagnoli whilst Owens is working on Gresham and he climbs to the top rope. What is Owens looking to do? Big swanton bomb off the top rope by Kevin Owens. Oh, what's Rollins got planned? Wave God. Ooh, out of two count in the ring by Owens on Gresham. Owens' mission to become a double champion is, oh, great springboard moonsault. Well, as all of a sudden being derailed by Jonathan Gresham, the foundation. You can believe he's going to be the foundation of any company that he is a part of. And Gresham has got an excellent key lock in, but don't know why happened there, he let go. And now Gresham is dragging the big body of Kevin Owens into the middle of the ring and he's got himself a cover. Rollins and Castagnoli are both working each other and there was a two count inside of the ring. Gresham on Owens, whilst Castagnoli and Rollins continue to work each other. Oh my goodness, look at the raw strength of Castagnoli. Just picking him up and now just completely dropping him face first. Oh, and Kevin Owens has tapped out. Kevin Owens is out of the match. The WWE Universal Champion has tapped out. And now we've got a German suplex and a Tiger suplex. What's next on the suplex agenda? Another German suplex. The, uni the Universal Champion has been eliminated. He tapped out to the submission hold. Now was applied by the foundation, Jonathan Gresham. Like I said, you can guarantee he will be the foundation of any company that he is a part of. Whether that's Ring of Honor, AEW, WWE, Impact, the NWA. You know he's going to be the foundation and the building blocks. Rollins at the moment, he was working away on Castagnoli. But now, you know, fists to the gut put an end to that. And I think Castagnoli might be bleeding. I think Claudio's bleeding. I can't seem to get a good view on my monitor right now. But Gresham at the moment just working the arm. Swinging him back and could have a bit of whiplash there after hitting the, hitting the mat and being thrown into the steel steps. This is going to be somewhat of a murder by Rollins and Gresham and now just torturing Claudio, just torturing him. I need to see if, whether or not he is bleeding. Right now, Gresham just wrenching that hold in. Yes, I, yes. Claudio Castagnoli was busted open. Big suplex on the outside by Gresham. Yes, Castagnoli is bleeding. Small cut around the center of the forehead. If you look a bit, if you look from a distance, it could be misconstrued for a bullet wound. But I assure you, no guns have been fired in this match. Just fists, bombs, submission holds, and everything that goes with it. Gresham just looking. He's, he's on fire at the moment, Gresham, eliminating Kevin Owens from this four corners elimination match. And now he's just throwing people all over the place and he's just torturing Castagnoli. And Rollins is just there, just reaping the benefits. But can Castagnoli get back into this? He's managed to get away from Seth, from Seth Rollins. But now Seth Rollins has turned his attention to Gresham. I think he's had enough of his showboat and is like, uh-uh, sunshine. If you, you are not going to be walking away as Ring of Honor World Champion, I am. And now Castagnoli, he's in the ring. 
We've got Gresham back in the ring. Rollins is back in the ring. And now Rollins just, oh, and a springboard moonsault caught Seth Rollins. My goodness, Gresham, what? How electric is this man? And now Gresham just torturing the arm of Castagnoli some more. Jeez Louise, big bombs there by Castagnoli. Look at the size difference, but Gresham, he may be small, but my goodness, from what we've seen in this match, he is not someone to be trifled with. And now Castagnoli walking him into the middle of the ring with a backbreaker, and that's once. And he's hit it twice, and now just dunks him onto the mat. Was Castagnoli looking to... Oh my god, he's done it again, and this time with such ease on Gresham, dropping him straight down onto his chest and face. Goodness me, Seth Rollins with DDT on Castagnoli though. Rollins with an elbow to the face. You can tell just how much all of these men want the Ring of Honor World Championship. I don't know what Seth has in mind when he wins that title. You know that someone like Castagnoli will hold the title. And there's a stomp on Castagnoli. There's a cover. One, two. We have had our second elimination. Claudio Castagnoli has been eliminated by Seth Rollins. As I was saying, you don't know what that man is going to do with the title if he gets a hold of it. And Gresham, is he going to put an end to Seth Rollins? Could he put an end to any kind of nefarious plan that he has with that championship? You know someone like Gresham is going to hold it with such prestige. Like that. Big elbow off the top rope by Gresham. Gresham, he's looking to position Rollins perfectly. And here we go. Is he going to hit it? He's, he's got it locked in. He's got it locked in. Is Seth Rollins going to tap out? Are we going to see Gresham win the championship? Is he going to tap? He's wrenching it. And Rollins has managed to get out of it. But Gresham, he's going straight for the pin. The foundation is looking to become the Ring of Honor World Champion. No! And it's a kick out at two. That was 2.9 by Seth Rollins. Gresham now just continuing to use his technical ability. But Seth Rollins, you cannot count the former Universal, WWE, United States, Intercontinental, Tag Team Champion of the World. You cannot count him out. Seth Rollins always has something up his sleeve, but at the moment he's failing to keep up with Mr. Jonathan Gresham, who is just continuing to punish Seth Rollins. And now he's looking to he's looking to lock in some kind of figure four and he's got it. But Rollins holds on even more. Gresham now moving on to the arm. It's just punishment after punishment. Surely Rollins has to give up at some point. Oh my goodness, what is this? What is that? Such a unique move and it looks like he's going for it again. Gresham is just torturing Seth Rollins and he's screaming, tap, give up, all oh, kick to the head by Seth Rollins. Rollins is not giving up. Oh, and a big atomic drop. That's going to compound your spine. That not do any good for your back, Rollins. What's he looking to do? Oh, face first. Seth Rollins, he's primed, he's ready. Was he looking to do? Oh, and he went. Oh, reverse shining wizard. That could be it. Rollins. Here we go. Off the rope. And there's a stomp. And the pin. He's going straight in for the pin. One, two. No! Jonathan Gresham kicks out at two, and I believe he's got a horrible cut on his face from the mat. Oh, what a cutter that was. Goodness gracious, both of these men go in hell for leather to win the Ring of Honor World Championship. And Gresham, he's got another submission locked in, and yes, he is bleeding above the eye. Seth Rollins is holding on in this submission hold. 
Is he going to tap though? Is he? Is he going to tap? No, he has held on that little bit longer. We are still seeing what an incredible match this has been. Gresham just smacking away at Rollins as he holds on onto the on the ring apron and it's a big back suplex and as we know that is not the softest part of the ring and in fact it's the hardest part. Gresham continuing to just torture Seth Rollins. What a dominant performance here by Jonathan Gresham. We thought everything was going to be all over with several submission holds and then we thought it was going to be over again when Rollins had hit that reverse shining wizard plus the stomp and goodness gracious Gresham now I think the sight of his own blood has just infuriated this young man who is now just going to work going to town on Seth freaking Rollins Gresham standing in the ring waiting for his prey but he can't wait any longer he's going outside of the ring and he's got Rollins up what is he planning to do chop to the chest strike but that might be a bad idea once Seth Rollins gets going it could be the end and now Rollins looking to make some distance between him and Gresham Rollins getting back into the ring he's waiting patiently for his opponent kick oh and Gresham reversal Another reversal by Rollins. This is going to be a... Oh my goodness. He's got the same move that he managed to make Kevin Owens tap. Oh my goodness. And Seth Rollins has indeed tapped out to that submission hold by Jonathan Gresham. The foundation has walked into Ring of Honor WWE Honorable Combat. Winning the Ring of Honor World Championship. What a match and what a performance by the Foundation. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next time.